Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another glorious day on Faroon with Baldar's Gate. Yes, indeed, Baldar's Gate 3. We have returned to the wonderful world of Faroon where we will once again continue our adventures with the Wobble Lock. Yes, indeed, my friends. It is going to be a glorious day. Glorious day, indeed. I've been thinking a lot about this game. Joker, good morning, sir. How are you? Greetings and salutations, friend. I've been thinking a lot about this game. I've been reading some of the reviews, and I think, and uh, and we're talking with um, with uh, with Dude Bro yesterday about this game specifically and how they how they write, and I think I think he's on to something, right? Because one of the things that I feel is very cool about this game is the mechanics feel great, but the writing <laughs> for the characters seems a bit off. I don't know why. It's probably because I'm not a writer and I don't know how to analyze writing, but something feels really weird. Also, something I did not know, something I did not know that uh, that I probably should have. This guy, this guy right here, this guy, he's a he's he's a vampire. I don't I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you know that, but apparently he's a vampire. I don't know where it says that at. But uh I thought he was because of all the blood on the on the thing and the, and the thing and thing. I guess maybe that's revealed later. I have no idea. Anyway, it's time, my dudes, for the highlights of your day. The part that makes everything better the real reason you're here. If you're new, no worries. Listen carefully. It is but a simple set of instructions. All you need to do before we begin our adventures in Pharaoh is grab your cup, your mug, your glass. Perhaps you have a tanker, chalice, or a stein. Maybe a canteen, jug, or flask. A vessel! Of any kind, you fill it with your favorite liquid. I like my morning coffee. Waifu made. Enjoy me now for the gloriousness. The stupendosity. The absolute awesome sauce. That is the simultaneous sip. It's happening right freaking now. Go. Oh, yeah, boys. That's it. Mm -mm -mm. That's the good stuff. Yes, indeed. Okay, so. All right, now, where were we? We were... We were... Hmm, we were exploring this nonsense. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab you. You have you have stealth. Do you not? I can't remember if this guy has stealth. What's it in this character sheet? Is this guy? Where does it show your proficiencies? Now it shows he's a thief. Uh, light armor, dex, saving throw proficiency. Rogue. Uh, let's see. With stealth, skill, and uncanny reflexes. Blah 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 blah. What I'm looking for here is where the hell... Okay, here we go. This is this is what we find. Stealth. He actually has plus five. Okay, good. So, he should be able to, like, sneak around this mug. Easy peasy, right? Heavily obscured, clear area. What What's the difference between them? I know there's a dude... I know there's a dude over here, right? So, let's go ahead and send it on down this way. And the best part is, is something I didn't... Something I did not realize, or something I did not think of yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday, the day before, is that we can, oh wow, each individual one has their own, ooh, they're all different sizes, ooh, very sexy, very sexy. There is a five pre-made characters that the story is written for. Yes, yes. Like I, uh, some, I read a review that said um, it basically it 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 uh, it, um, it kind of uh, what do I want to go echoed what uh, what Dude Bro was talking about yesterday. I can't remember. Uh, well, I think it was I think it was uh, God. I can't remember. I can't remember who it was. But anyway, the guy who was talking about how he hated Larian Studios world building. And one of the things he said is he likes the game as far as mechanics, but the the characters that they've written are feel like they're badly written. They're semi unlikable and stuff like that. And I kind of I kind of feel that they're, they're they're they are actually quite unlikable. But I think that adds I think that's part of their charm, in in my opinion, because we're you know all these characters are thrown out of out of sorts, and they all have their own personalities. They're all very, hmm, how should I put this? Like these two, like she's a, she's a, she's a Xenos, 
kind of thing. So she she hates all of us because she's xenophobic, just like I'm xenophobic against her. And she's just got to stick up her ass about something. I don't know what it is. And he's crazy. And the wizard is insane. So it, it just kind of makes it just it feels like it's they're they're trying. It feels like they're trying. It definitely feels like they're trying. They're just not really succeeding very much. But anyway, what I was saying is that um, uh, for some reason I actually did that. The um, am I still stinking? I am still stinking. Let's let's stop that. Let us stop that. Ooh, half really, really candles. I'm not I'm not looting that. I am not looting that game. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You know I'm lying, right? <laughs> You know I'm lying, right? Anyway, but um, something I forgot to do uh, the other day when we were playing was turn on turn-based mode when I open the door so that they don't automatically see you, right? That way you make checks and stuff. That would have been awesome, right? Should have done that. Really nothing in these bookshelves. Not a, I, guess, I guess maybe all those dudes pilfered it already. That's why the only thing in here is candles. Did I just hear a spitter? I just heard a spitter. I heard spitter. That's not good. That's not good at all. Ooh, the unclaimed. What is this? In her life, her service was impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the lady of loss. Daily did she free herself from tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. Ooh. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the lady of loss to retrieve her. A million souls or more passed her in colorless gusts. But no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instructions in her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time immaterial time passed until around her like air coming and going. And still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Uh, Kelmvator. Wait, wait, wait. Kel, Kel, Kel. These convoluted ass names. Kelmvor. Kelmvor. Pitted her eye. Pitied her, pitied her as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That of not forgetting, but being forgotten. Aw. How very sad. What? You can't reach it. Climb on the table, boy. Climb on the table. Seriously, we can't reach that? I cannot jump up there? That's the wrong button. Jump. Target is too close. Not enough space. Boo. Boo. Oh, it looks like they've already, like, looted all this stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I, just, I do wonder what, what, where they're trying to go with the characters, you know what I mean? You do not recognize the language on the plaque. Oh, oh, well, let's, let's get, let's get everybody else down here. He has, like, superb dark vision. Look at his ass. Do you do recognize, not recognize the language on the plaque. Chapel Records, an annal of the dead. Find us, coast the pages of this weather book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Ill martyr, drowning. Ogma, internal rot. Saloon, fever. Interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and loot the candles because I can't, can't help myself. And, ooh, looter's trunk. Mmm. Hmm. That's curious. That is curious indeed. <laughs> that is curious indeed. Okay, well let's um uh, let's click what the thing. That? I have no idea. Maybe it opened the door. <laughs> Looter's trunk, please. It's pretty cool when it tells you that it um that it does does a check i kind of like that because that means that you can you can go with other people and do it now who actually has good perception that's something i need to know here who actually has really good perception um is it wisdom so you have perception plus four which is kind of hilarious considering i mean you've got 14 wisdom that's not bad actually and what about you 
you have 16 wisdom and your perception is plus three so you didn't take it as a as a thingamajigger my wisdom is 10 <laughs> and i have zero perception added about you what's your perception 12 wisdom one plus one okay so the rogue is got the highest perception out of all of us aha it opened the door and there's another or and there is an ornate door over here but where does it lead i wonder if it leads up top hermit permits greetings and salutations friend how are you doing welcome 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 how are you, my friend? Hope you're well. And we got empty corpses. All empty. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, room full of lootable things and no loot. Ancient scroll. Let's let's go ahead and read this. What's it got? Blue mold that leaves from the ink. Most of the scroll, it's beginning to still legible. The ceiling ritual. Not for petty ritual. There is only the ceiling. It is vital that we observed it in exacting reverence. Excuse me? Oh boy, what a sneeze. What a sneeze. On the day of sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is concentrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death. Of our god. Um, okay, so maybe that's what that book was? That's why I was covered in bone white nonsense? Oh, how do you like Baldur's Gate? I'm, I'm liking it pretty well, honestly. Um, it has, it definitely has its faults. It's janky as all hell because it's in early access. Um, and I'm not so sure about the, <laughs> about, I, I'm having my doubts over the, over the, how they're doing the writing, but you know, Larian Studios is, they're giving it their best. So we'll have to see how it pans out. You know what I'm saying? Aliva. Aliva. You see what I mean? There's a dude here. Andor. Is he the only one? It says he's hostile. Hmm. Also heard they have four more classes they're releasing with the full game. Barbarian, Monk, Paladin, and Bard. But almost a year away. Huh. Only four more, huh? Only four. Well, I mean, that's fair enough. I was hoping for a sorcerer, but, you know, I guess they don't like sorcerers no more. Please don't kill me. Okay, there we go. All righty. Well, let's get the uh, let's get the uh, non-dark vision individual in here, and we will basically just run up in this mug, right? Does it start combat? We got company. Really? Just you? Just you, bro? Just you? You? I mean, should I even be mad? Should I even be mad? I'm not even sure. I'm not even really sure. Can I hit you with this? It's not even required tax. I'm just going to punch you in the face. Boom! And we're done. All right, let's roll. <laughs> As his body falls to the floor. Hmm. All the things. All the things. Uh, let's actually... See, aren't you at near, near max level? You're at, m yeah, you're almost maxed. Uh, the cleric is the one who needs to uh, <clears throat> share some load here. I would love, I would love to have more classes. I'm and like I said, I'm kind of disappointed that they don't, that they're not gonna have the barber, that they're not gonna have a sorcerer. That kind of seems mm, kind of meh. Do we have a lot of junk? <laughs> Lots of junk. Isn't that why they uh, they have a wares thing? Isn't that what that is? Add to wares. There was a is there is there a button that allows me to do that? Or I could just or I could just click a button and it happens. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just sell all that crap. Let us see. Uh, Waffle lock. Where you at, bud? Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. Indecipherable. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. They left enough books, didn't they? They left enough books with nothing in them. It's just, it's just blank. Just blank. Nothing. 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 Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Alright, I'm about to open this thing. And we might all die. I'm very disappointed. 
very disappointed he is. Very disappointed. Is my imp okay? Is he doing all right? Yeah, I think he, I think he glitched out a little bit there. I think he glitched out a little bit there. All right, so nada, nada, nada. Okay, so we looted him. He had some good stuff. Looter's trunk. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna have stuff, it might as well be might as well be something that's worth something, right? Journey through the jungle. I love the, I, the one of the reasons I'm doing all this is because I found a book that referenced uh, the original, the original, um, the Baldur's Gate two with Boo and Minx. It was so good. Uh, skull vibrated to the sound. Ooh, is this Jungle Book? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not reading all that. Uh, let's see. Didn't see Sorcerer. That is weird. Just glad they're adding more melee. Yeah. Does that does that does that turn on the fire? Does that light the fire? It does. You light my fire. And plate. No. No. Game. Bad game. Bad game. Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Junk. Junk. Can't help but pick up bunches and bunches of junk. All right. All the loot shall be mine. All right. Is there anything up here? Candles. Ooh, there's a door. Where does it go? Oh, does it go up? Is it, oh, it must go up top. Must go outside. That's must, that's must be what it does. Magic pockets. Aha. There we go. Uh, okay. All right. So there you go. So we we ended up blowing a hole in this thing and going into a go, so going into another route. So apparently you can't go in that way. Interesting. You have to have the key, or you have to pick it, I guess. So what is the other door? What is the other door? It must go somewhere else. How much of this do we got? Okay, we still got a little bit of weight we can carry. We still got a wee bit of weight. Just a wee. This place wasn't built for the living. You read about that. A lot of... Oh! Oh, is this where we are? Interesting. Very interesting. Heavy oak doors. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of spellcaster, warlock, wizard, druid, cleric, bard. So, yeah, lots of spell sing stingers. Maybe that's why. Hmm. It's possible. Maybe they think the uh, the warlock or the sorcerer is just uh, you know a bit re a bit um, how should I put it? Um, I will take that one and that one. I'm leaving the plate. I don't need that. We don't need that nonsense. Death and restoration. It might it might have something to do with that. Honestly, the fact that there's so many spellcasters, they might think it's a bit you know um, redundant to have a god dang it. I didn't mean to pick the book up. To have a um, wizard and a sorcerer. But I mean, they're they're very distinct as far as I'm concerned. They use the same spells. They're just different types of casters. Uh, let's see. Let's read this bad boy. An excerpt from the ongoing Meditex Rebound. La la la. A scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for heretical efforts to reconstruct the Meditex. Her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages. Surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and the dewy-eyed sentiments so often, so oft clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all spanning, spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have quantifiable value. It is simply that it's it is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending, pl transcending planal barriers, planar barriers in search of a resting place that befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even if this assessment is subject to market forces, 
Lord Kelimvor, weighing our souls against our how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn, there is, of course, an alternate route, not the end of the path, but a chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with these deemed wealthy enough, for the components of such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. Then why are we given, like, resurrection things? That's crazy. I remember, what was it, in Baldur's Gate 2, when your dudes died, you literally just had to carry around their corpse until you found a rod of resurrection, or you could go to the cleric and then resurrect them. It was pretty crazy, because when you went into the sewers and the beholder walks up, he just goes, power word death. <laughs> it usually kills just one of your dudes. <laughs> Straight up. Not so helpful in battle of... Um, let's see... Just a mix of Warlock and Wiz, yeah. Not so helpful in Battle of Warlock uh, and Knight. Quite as strong. And not quite as strong as the Wiz, yeah. Hmm. Oh, what? The Sorcerer is a mix of Warlock and Wiz? Not so helpful in Battle as a Warlock. Not quite as strong as the Wizard. I wouldn't say that, man. Because they get more spellcasts per day, right? So you get you get less utility, but, but more, more destruction. So... Where the wizard at level at his current level has four spell slots for level one spells, a sorcerer might have six, but he only gets like three spells. You know what I mean? Oh, maybe it's just me, dude. I, I'm 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 quite I'm quite on the sorcerer train. I always love them. La 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 la. I have interviewed those who have had made such return, and in truth, found them to be be of the most dull and unimaginative sort. I could I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it upon it oneself. Perhaps one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got two different ways. I'm not going to open it with my warlock, because I'm not stupid. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to grab... We're going to grab our warrior, who's got, you know... Maybe I should do it with my rogue. Okay. Okay, everybody. In the room. In the room. Safe scum. Give me that safe scum. Come on now. Uh oh. Perception failed. Hmm. What's that? What is what? She 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 picked it up. It'd be not ah. There it is. There it is. A vent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. Nobody step on it. <laughs> uh I can't see any way to disarm it. Hmm. Oh. Can I exit out of this? Oh no, hitting escape does not. <gasps> oh, that was close. That was close. Wait, don't we have the tools on you? Yeah, you have trap disarm tools. Uh, let's see, consumables. Is that what it's under? Equipment? Magical miscellaneous? Ah, miscellaneous. So he's got three of them. Does anybody else have any? No. Okay. 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 We're fine. We're fine. We're not dead. You're right on that. If you can minimize your spells, sorcerers are good. I guess I like Wiz because more total spell access. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Wiz, wizards have access to all the spells, right? And you can learn spells from uh, scrolls and stuff. So I, I did. I do like wizards. My biggest thing was is the limited spell casts, right? And there's so much to choose from that you re and and especially when you have a, a a game where you're limited in party size. Wizards feel superfluous, in my opinion, and that's because they're so. They have. Uh, uh, not, 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 let me let me let me rephrase that. Early game, they feel like they're super weak. Late game, they're super strong because they get so many spell casts that it, it 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 is it is quite interesting. Especially since they started adding, at least in three point five, they added a bunch of feats that allowed you to metamorphosis a lot of your spells, so that you could. You could tra it, it would be like a cleric can um, can uh, could uh, cast a healing spell, 
uh, cast Heal Wounds and not have it memorized and sacrifice one of our, spell, our other spells. Wizards used to be able to do that in, in 3.5e, I believe, where in whatever school you were um, proficient in or whatever school you dedicated yourself to, whatever it was, you could you could pick a couple spells that you could you could do that with. I like doing it with like evocation and necromancy because it was fun. So basically, I would just have all utility spells and then sacrifice utility spells to uh, to cast fireballs and stuff. It was great. Ooh, uncommon two-handed melee weapon. Action, rust, death promise. When the spear misses the target, the wielder's next attack against the target is made with advantage. It's only one d8 though. It's only one d8. Dan Erico, greetings and salutations. Why did it go into... Somebody failed a perception check. Greetings and salutations, friend. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciate it. We're going to take good care of you here at the Tango Crew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And welcome to the Tango Hotel. Um... Did, did I accidentally do that by pressing space bar? I think I may have accidentally done that by pressing space bar. Okay, so we got this spear. Okay. Let's look at what she does. Uh, no, it's you. That's right. I also need to give you that. I also need to give you that. So, do I... Do I give it to her? It's 1d12, right? 1d12 seems awesome, but... 1d8, it's got a 5 foot range, so it's basically the same. Two handed, dippable, can't dual wield. Death's Promise, when the spear misses this target, I don't know if Death's Promise is uh, that good, you know what I mean, of a thing. I mean, it looks awesome. Look at that. That's, that's sexy. That is sexy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Not so sure. Let's, uh, let's put on the Great Axe. It's, uh, it's fat. I don't like how she holds it, this this position. It should be like on her shoulder or like, you know, something. I don't know. She looks it looks like she's holding like a like a flute or something. I don't know. It's kinda of weird. Um, let me go ahead, let me turn this off. Oh that's why they did that. That's why they did that. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh boy. See, there's an ancient door back there that I want to open now. Can I not? Can we disarm these? Don't think so. You know what? I think I'm gonna load it. I think I'm gonna load it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna do the we're gonna we're gonna save scum that. We're gonna save scum that. Ah, Githyanki knights are gifted red dragon mounts as part of their pact with the Gith, the first leader, and the evil goddess Tiamat. Ah, so that's why the, that's what was going on. The the Githyanki were hunting the Illithids. Yes, 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 yes. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, right, dude. I lo I love traps like that because they're like, uh, why did it just go into turbo? So now I need to now I need to remember the next time I want to do that. I sh the next time it goes into uh, that mode, I should probably just leave. I should probably just leave. So. You know what? Let me let me grab you, and I think we're gonna run around this room. Hmm. What's that? It was just like this vent right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's what's going on here. It's all the traps. Hmm. Something over there. Wow, there's a lot of them. There's one over here too, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Interesting. Interesting. Now, the question is, should I try to open this door? It looks like this door takes us to the surface. So... I should have saved it after I disarmed the first trap. Oh, there's other sarcophagi. Hmm. What's that? The question is... Does it require an actual thing to do it? I think it does, doesn't it? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the entire group over here. 
And then I'm going to get my rogue over here. And we are going to disarm this bad boy. Five. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Yes. Cool. Now, the question is, did it actually take one of our disarm kits? I don't know. We've only, we've only got three, right? So, t -t 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 disarm traps. Uh, let's see. Can we examine? No. It doesn't. I don't know. See, it only it says thieves tools are destroyed on a failed use. I wonder if the disarm kits are required. Hmm. So we've got three. Let's disarm this one. Another five. Another five. Yeah, five E. You can use lower spell for higher spell slots. Ooh. But a level twenty sorcerer, no, fifteen spells, four first, three second. Through fifth, two, sixth, and seventh. Oh, one, eight, nine. Only one? Ugh, no. You get at least two of those, man. Ugh, they must have nerfed the shit out of them. Because I remember my level 20 sorcerer in Neverwinter Nights. I had two level nine spells. Gate and, um, no, Gate wasn't, is level eight, right? Anyway, but yeah, it was, and it was like meteor shower. <laughs> I love that spell. But I could cast it like four times. Oh, the natural 20. The natural 20. Gotta love that. Okay. Before I loot anything, I'm gonna... Okay, now, did it take a trap disarm kit? No. Okay, it looks like it might only use them when I fail. And let's just see. Is the God Emperor still with us, boys? He is. He is. The God Emperor's will be done. Okay. Something over there. Oh, a button. Interesting. Did it use it? No, it did not. If I press the button, does it turn on the trap? I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Maybe it disarms it. Let's find out. Let's find out. Safe scum! It won't move. How disappointing. Aww. But I want it. I want it. All right, we're going to go ahead and disarm this one. One, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. That seems that seems kind of meh. But you get to cast them a lot, though, right? That's the that's the key, right? I remember being able to cast my level eight, nine, seven, and all that stuff spells a lot. I, I, the one of the one of the things I loved was the ability to group spells together, so that I could just use one turn. And be able to cast like three or four spells at once. You hear that? Spitters, man. Freaking spitters. And it did not use our trap disarm kit, did it? No, it did not. The thing that bothers me the most is it looks exactly like the ones from, um, from, uh, what you call it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't see any way to disarm Maybe, it. maybe you have to, maybe you got to do this to use the trap disarm kit. Well, maybe. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess not. I thought I thought you could I like use it on it, and it and it would use the trip, and it would just disarm it. Maybe that's what it was. But you got to use sleight of hand. If you fail to disarm the trap, it does use the kit and set off the trap. Oh, it sets off the trap, does it? That's great. I figured maybe it would take mercy upon us, and uh, not set off the trap. You know what I'm saying? Or that you would make another check or something like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, we've disarmed most of them. I forgot the question mark. Uh, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, 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 I got you. I, I don't know. It looks like so far it, 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 it doesn't use it to just disarm them, which is good, I like that. I quite like that. I like the idea of it breaks the things if you fail. But what's really interesting is that you wouldn't have another roll to see if it sets off the trap or not. You can only have five cantrips. They use it 20. You can only have five cantrips. Yeah, aren't there only like six cantrips? I remember cantrips being kind of, kind of like, once you're past like level five, they're kind of meh. 
Okay. Nothing good in that one. I don't want to take my chances and roll another one. Peridot ring. Okay. I just want to see what's in them before I before I decide to loot all this nonsense. All right, now. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm assuming as soon as I loot something, it's going to set off the traps. Oh, no, it does not. Only the middle one. Okay. Okay, I'm playing it super safe, dude. <laughs> I don't want to die in this crypt. Me as a vampire, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Is he over encumbered? Yeah, what what does over in, what does in, being encumbered do? Cuz it doesn't seem like it does anything at the moment. Maybe once you're in combat it does something? Cuz I don't seem to have any status effects from it. Oh, he's got ruby rings and shit. Oh, hello. Hero. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't seem to actually do anything. Hmm. All righty, here we go. You ready for this? The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. And engraved key. Boom. Maybe. Well, we're in turn based. And he can move 30 feet normally, I believe. So. Right? He can move 30 feet. Elf. Dex, keen senses, high elf, racial speed, 30. Okay. It would be nice if it just told you what everybody's speed was. I, I, this is one thing I don't like about the game is that it doesn't give enough information about a lot of things. So we're just gonna we're just gonna roll. We're just gonna roll out, and then we're going to Would you look at that? How awesome is that? Doesn't even doesn't even set it aflame. How very cool. How very cool. Now that is awesome. I love that. This is the kind of stuff that just, oh, it's so good, so good, so good. All right, let's go. No, no, don't walk that way. Come back this way. Sorcerer has sixteen cantrips to pick from. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, they might have nerfed the crap out of them. I will admit they were they were really powerful. In the. Uh, a lot of it was just because I could cast so many fireballs, it wasn't even funny. I remember playing Storm as a Fur, and like, it was it was a game. It was a bit different. It was more like it was more like the tabletop version. It was like it was more like this, except it had an overworld map where it was like Wasteland Two, where it had an overworld map and you run around. And so when you'd run into an encounter, it would you would basically be fighting like, you know, because you were already a group of four dudes, maybe five or six with your with some companions. And so you'd run into a group of trolls, there'd be like ten of them. So you'd literally charge the warrior in, and then you're just going, fireball, fireball, you know, you know uh, what was it, the greater magic missile, do, 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 and just unloading hell upon them. It was great. Absolutely adored that game. I really ought to play that on stream. We really ought to do that. Unlocked. Ooh. Did we just get the key for that? <gasps> is this what I think it is? Oh, it is. It is indeed. Interesting. So that must have been the guy who wrote the book that we just that we just read about the um, about the yeah. He must have wrote the book. The guy that came out of this tomb. He must have wrote that book we read. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So I think we're done. In her little, with her little quest here, right? So let's let's check out our journal. Journal is not J. Journal is L. I'm a I'm a I'm a dumbass. Companions. Uh, t -t 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 where is her name? Uh, the pale elf. Nope. Nope. That's not it. Daughter of darkness. There it is. Do 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 do. Um. Hmm. So we explored. Ah, explore the ruins. Complete. Excellent. So. Find a way into the ruins. Okay, now we need to... We've done this. Save Arabelle. Yeah, unfortunately, the child died. Nothing I can do about that. We need to defeat the goblins. Find the Githyanki Kresh. Is it, like, around here or something? Hmm. 
Show on map. No? Well, crap. All right, let's get out of here. So, I think we should probably just go back to camp. Well, the problem is it just teleports us right back here, doesn't it? It just teleports us right back here. So, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Time to skedaddle, boys. Time to skedaddle. Add to splash, blade ward, blade ward. Chilling touch, dancing light, firebolt. Friends, oh yes. Press to digitation. That was always one of my favorites. Doesn't like press to digitation make you like see into the future or something like that? I forget what it is. Most are good or utility? Yeah. I mean, if you just need to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, what? Really? She just fell into the hole? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, yeah, we are. We tried to loot all this. All right, woman. Look. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me here. Are none of you able to walk around the hole here? Are none of you able to do that? I have to do it for you. <sighs> Less I. At least I'm gonna at least I'm gonna go back to the camp, right? Yep. Back to camp we go. Back to camp we go. Okay, so let's go around this way. <laughs> you guys are funny. You know, I could have just fast traveled. You know? Maybe maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. Look at this. Let's fast travel. And we will fast travel to the roadside cliff. Yes. Oh, we can fast travel to camp. Hmm. Was there no fast travel to the Druid's Grove? Apparently not. Ze Zevlor. Who the hell is Zevlor? Zoru. I don't know what any of these dudes are. I don't know. I have no idea. It's a quest. Some type of quest. Maybe there's one right here? Anyway, roadside cliff. Is that all of us? No. <laughs> no. That's it. One by one. Roadside cliff. Yep. Using the magic of gamification, we shall be reunited. Yes. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. Anyway. I think I'm done. Woman. Ah. These things are ridiculously hard to move for what they are. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see. How many spell spizzles do we got? How many do you have? You have two and two. You're good. You have one. And you're looking at all your superiority die. All right, let's roll. Nexorastor, greasings and salutations, friend. How are you doing? All right, I think we're, we were done at the hey, over here, right? Yeah, we were done over here. Let's go. Can we create a marker on the map? No. Really? I can't make my own thing? Aw. Game. That's not cool. That's no bueno. No bueno. All right, let's go. Can, 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 click, click, click. Onward! Our adventure continues. You know, funnily enough, we don't really need to rest all that much. Broken. Pitiful. Because uh, the only person that uses spizzles is him. Everybody else is uh well I mean uh, never mind never mind I I just stuck my foot in my my foot I just stuck my foot in my mouth pay no attention to the man behind the curtain he's a moron yeah that guy yeah you shouldn't you shouldn't pay no attention to him um we already did all this wait what was this way ah yeah it went down to there okay okay let's rock and roll there's something over here no hmm. Now, what is up here? Is there stuff in things? Stuff in things. I should actually heal her up a little bit. I do have some food, do I not? Consumables? Yes, she has a carrot. We will eat it. We will eat it. Here, take this pear. Eat. 
Eat. Eat. What is your HP now? 28. Excellent. You're missing one. You're missing one. Yeah, you're fine. We're good. We're good. I quite like that, that you can heal out of combat with those. <sighs> because, of course, it's all the way over here. Because, of course. Yay, we found it. We found it. All right, we're going. We're out. So, yeah, she still has her two level spells. One of the things I don't understand is why we have level two bless and level two bane. Does anybody, does anybody understand how that mechanic there works? Why are they not following you? That is weird. Oh, it's because I clicked somebody else and they all stopped. Derp. Um, like, how, do, how exactly does this work, right? Because I don't believe I picked them as actual spells. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Spizzles. Spizzles. Yeah, so, prepared spizzles. So, like, level two versions of them? I didn't know this was a thing. Is this something that's 5e? Can you munch on food in combat? I'm pretty sure you could. I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I would imagine so. I, I think it's a bonus. I think it might be a bonus action. Let's see. Inventory. Do, do, do. That's bonus action. Yeah, you see it says bonus action down in the bottom. So, yeah, you can eat you can eat food as a bonus action. That's cool. That's cool. Spells. Okay. So, um, this is what I'm thinking about, right? So, each level increases the number of targets. Yeah, but... Uh, and, or, and or damage, right? So... But what I'm what I'm getting at is I knew there was like level ups of cure wounds, but I had no idea there was like level two bless, level three bless, and all that other stuff. They would take up higher level slots, which kind of makes it I don't know how do I want to say this. So maybe that means like regular bless you don't want to use anymore. You'd want to use more like cure wounds, and you'd want to memorize like cure wounds and like halt and other stuff like that. Hmm. Cause the way it looks to me, cause I, cause you'd almost, you'd almost want to use like level two bless, right? Or, hmm, or like level two bane. I guess it gives you the ability to choose between the two. Level one is two friends or enemies. Level two is three. Level three is four. Actually, level one is three, and level two is four. Ooh. But I get what you're, I get what, I get what you're getting at. I get where you're getting at. I just, uh, hmm. I thought they, I thought there were more cleric spells. I thought that that's why I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Maybe, maybe they, maybe the, uh, maybe they go up later. Maybe they, maybe they consolidated them so there's not nearly as many. Because I remember, I remember having a druid in my party, and it was just like, oh my god, all I want to do is be a giant bear, and I have like 50 million spells to choose from. What the hell am I gonna do? And then I realized I could I'll get be a. Keeping uh, an eye on you. Understand, woman. Hush. And then I realized if I could I choose to kill you. You will not even see it. Oh, that is cool. They're talking shit to one another. Okay, I like that. Um. Then I remember, and then I and then I found out that you can. Oh, hello. Is what's up here? What? Oh, they're stuffing things up there. Oh my goodness. Oh really? Oh really? So let's get the warrior up here. We're gonna explore. We're gonna do some exploring. Go on get it, boy. Fifty million spells, none of them is bear transformation. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess if you want to pick more people to use the spells on more regular Yeah, yeah. Druid has access to all spell books, it's so overwhelming. Yeah, the druid was was crazy, and then I realized that you could not only transform into a bear and a dragon and an iron golem and all that other stuff, but then you could get this uh, this feat that allowed you to. Is there nothing up here that that would allow you to spell cast while you're in uh, transform state? And that was where I lost my damn mind. That was where I lost my damn mind. I have a feeling I'm walking into an ambush. I really have a feeling I'm walking into an ambush. All I came up here to do was loot. Uh, what is that? Ruptured Mind Flare Pod. 
Hmm. Ooh. Stuff and things. Stuff and things. I like it. Yeah, honestly, I would probably have made a druid if they had it available. I like the warlock because of the... Ooh, campfire. I like the warlock because of the uh, ability to cast your Eldritch Blast at will. Because he gets pretty powerful. I, if I remember correctly, it gets pretty powerful. Um, I'm not going to loot that. Okay. So there's nothing up here. But a campfire. And, I mean, a beautiful vista. I'll give him that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well. <laughs> well, that just made me want to get my entire party up here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. It's not too high. Get your ass up here. Come on. Let's go. I could just, you know, fast travel back down for the lulls. So, we're doing it. We're doing it. It would be nice if you did that and you could you could do it for the whole group. You know what I mean? Perception check. Pfft. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Wait, did I loot? I looted something, didn't I? Earlier? Swads? I looted that. Studded shield. Battle axe. That's 1d2. We've got a peridot thing. Okay. Okay, just... Uh, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to know. I need to, uh, I need to put those gloves on. It says, woe be unto you should you be a, a what you call it, but we'll, we'll, see, we'll see about all that. We'll see about all that. Did she get it? Failed. Failed. Damn. Something over Oh! The roll. The roll. What is it? At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Nature, survey the spiders. What's the check? 10? You know, it'd be nice if I could get out of this and choose someone who has better nature. And we fail. Wah, wah, wah. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Is gold so precious to spiders? Animal handling. Hmm, let's leave. Let's use sleight of hand. Can we can we do this with everybody? At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. Uh-huh. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Sleight of hand. So I'll have a plus five. Snatch the snatch the bag. What's the check? Ooh, target's 15. Come on. Come on, boys. No. No. Pierce your flesh. And pain shoots up your arm and across your back. <sighs> He's a freaking rogue. He's a freaking rogue, Herbert. At the back of the crevice, can lies I do a anything? Bag covered with spiders, a shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. All right, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. What's the end? Oh, it would be nice if it would tell me what the roll was. So it looks like we get to do it one more time. Oh, this time it's a tip. Okay. That's weird. Oh, we got it. We got it. The spiders scatter and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. It's an explosive. <laughs> uh, press one to view. Uh, what? Well, we'll just use a healing potion. No big deal. Press one to view my ass. Uh, let's go here. There it is. Bam. We open. 13 coins and a spider egg sack. Ooh. So, is that... Is this, is this an actual bag that we have now? It weighs 60 pounds? Oh my god. Is it... Wait, what? Are you for real? Is this does this thing lower weight? No way. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's right. We can send a bunch of stuff to our camp. Damn, it weighs 60 pounds. Holy crap. The bag itself weighs 60 pounds? Are you kidding me or is it just two? Okay. Something's going on weird with our weight here. 
Something weird is going on with this. Hmm. You're the proud owner of 60 pounds of spiders. I'm going to send this to camp. We're going to we're going to do that. And we got a pouch at least. Now I wonder if this works for like scrolls and stuff. You know, if I were to if I were to put scrolls in here, could I then stick them on my bar? Oh, you can uh, no. No, oh, no, no, no. They go in your inventory. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. Hmm. I guess it just uh, gets rid of clutter, I guess, is what it would do. Hmm. I guess you can't... I guess there's no point in having rope and stuff. Hmm. Books. I could put books in there. And the thing about it is you can't drag anything onto the bags like you could in Divinity. Well, I guess it's not Divinity Original Sin 3. I guess that's not the case. A cluster of spiders scuttle inside the crevice. Ah, uh, reach in and crush the spiders. Nah, let's let's leave the spitters alone. Let's leave the spitters alone. So that's why they uh they were so protective is because of their uh <clears throat> you know the eggs, dust eggs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'll take that. I will definitely take that. I will definitely take that. Another thing they need to work on is the ability to click these. Because sometimes you click them and they don't they don't actually do anything. See what I mean? Is there a perception check up here? No, there's not. Well, that was an interesting thing to come all the way up here for. <laughs> can we can we get down here? Yeah, we can get down here. Now we need to get over here. I wanna I wanna find that. What is that? Summoned imp. Oh, my imp's just chilling, huh? Impy boy is just chilling. Can we get down here? No. We gotta use jump. Everybody needs to jump. 60 pounds of spiders is 160 individual spiders on average. Oh, wow. I had no idea. More in, uh, you know, plasma oh. physics and cosmology myself. Oh, come on, dude. Really? I guess that's what happens when you jump from, like, way up top. Although nature science is, uh, funnily enough, nature science is what got me into science when I was in, like, the fifth grade. It really uh, sparked my interest in it. And then there was Star Trek, so that helped. And then the super ultra mega nerd came forth. Scrap wood shield. Sells for 50. All right, so I think it's time we went and uh, sold a bunch of our crap. I think that's what, what we need to do. I think that's what we need to do. Game. 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 It's too bad I can't just teleport inside. That'd be phenomenally awesome if I could do that. Yes, it would. Average spider weight according to the internet is 0.375 pounds. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's an average spider of all the spiders, right? There are spiders in Australia that are as, like, as big as a like, full dinner plate and weigh like a couple pounds, right? And then there's the, the itty-bitty, teensy-weensy spiders that don't weigh a damn thing. You know what I'm talking about? Alrighty. Now, we might actually be able to afford some of this cool stuff. Refugees. Well met. That's great, Is there dude. anything you need? Yes. I like need first, to... I need Just to... Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Yep, 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 yep. I still haven't put the damn gloves on. Alright, we're going to sell... I got a lot of stuff to sell you, bud. Lots of stuff. Ringmail, uh, you have better armor than ringmail. Yes? I don't know who might need that. Might keep the ringmail for a minute. Let's grab that. The scimitar is pretty... It's pretty sexy looking, but it's only 1d6. It's pretty sexy, but it's only 1d6. And... I like the scrap wood shield. If it had something... Other, uh, ooh, ooh. So that's 14 scale mail armor. What's the difference? Disadvantage. It's plus one dex. I don't I don't really know the the difference between them. So that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna get us three hundred and fifty-three gold. 
Ooh, Malachite. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so there's no barter skill, apparently, so I guess it doesn't matter who does it, right? I don't see any... Like, it doesn't show any stuff. Oh, he's only got so much money. Ooh, okay. Potion of Hill Giant Strength. Oh, well, that's uh, interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, we're probably going to have to trade for something here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to trade for something here. Probably...